Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'll show you how to import another template into your current ePortfolio. You may need this if you started out with one template but now need pages or content from another template. For example, if you started out with the AAS template but now you're in the dental hygiene program and need the pages from that template, this is the tutorial you need to follow. So, open up your current ePortfolio, then locate and click on the blue button at the bottom of the page. As soon as you click, the library will show up. What you see first will be the featured templates. If you see the template you need right away, go ahead and select that template. For example, if I'm looking for the dental hygiene template and it's right here, I go ahead and just click on it and then you can go ahead and click on use this template and that will import that template into your current ePortfolio. Let's say, however, you're not seeing the featured templates. What you could then do is click the view all button and that should show you all the different templates that are available. You could also click on the search by content or template name. And you just type that in and it should bring up the template you are looking for in the search results. Once you find the one that you want, like I said, go ahead and click on the template that you need. You could preview that template if you needed to, or you can also make a copy down here. Most of you are going to just click on use this template. So once you click that, it will tell you what the privacy settings are going to be for the ePortfolio, which is private within Salt Lake Community College, which is what we suggest. Go ahead and click on Save Settings and Add. Once you do so, it will import that template into your current ePortfolio. So now, if I hover over my menu, I will see a set of new pages here. So what you could do from here is, of course, you don't want some repeated pages, so you might want to go in and just fix some of those pages by clicking on the lock button. And again, this only shows up if you hover in the area. So if I'm looking down here and I'm looking for that lock button, I will not see the lock button unless I hover in that area. Once you do hover, you should see it. Go ahead and click on that and then hover over your menu and click on the pencil button. From here, go ahead and scroll down and you can delete any of the pages that you don't need. So for example, I might not want this welcome page because I already have one. I don't want to redo it. Maybe I look at this page and I like it more than this one up here and I can delete this one instead. Um, you can move your pages around as well. So delete is just a little trash here. Then, if you want to move pages around, you can go ahead and just drag them. For example, if I just want to drag this up here, I could drag all my dental hygiene pages up there. And then I can drag these around, and I can move the rest if I want to. So, organize it how you like, and then go ahead and click on the Save button. And if you do delete any pages, just make sure you type the word in red, so we are looking at this button, or this word right here. I'm just going to type in delete to confirm and click on yes, delete it. Now you'll see that the menu has changed, and if you think it's looking a little bit too clunky, you can still fix that as well. So another way to fix that is once this is unlocked and you hover over the menu, you can click on this little cog wheel. From here, you can turn down the font size until you get a reasonable font size that you like. And so I can keep going as much as I want. If it's still looking a little too small or a little bit weird, another option is to also extend this area here. So the best thing to do is to hover over the menu and you should be able to see a little yellow button here or you'll see an auto resize button there. You can go ahead and just click on auto resize and see if you like that to begin with. If it were me, I would probably just make the font size smaller until it fits one line. Then if that happens and you have this extra space, you can auto resize that or you can move this and that should fix your menu there. Um, if the font is too small for you, of course you can always change the uh, layout of the menu. That way you don't have to have so many items up here. You can make 
um, some of these titles a little bit smaller so everything fits. So to do that, you just go back to this menu here, the little pencil paper button, and of course, like I said, you can go ahead and make this a smaller um, title, or you can move pages um, into one, or you can drag this under another page and make that a page and so on. So lots of options there for you guys. Um, and that's pretty much it for adding a template uh, into your current template. And just go ahead and make sure you publish whatever you've changed. And that's it for this tutorial.